Right guys, what is happening? I knew I needed to do something special, something different. I'm not gonna call it special, but I'm, I'm gonna call it different for this one. We're in the top 10, okay? We're looking at probably the most impressive player, in my opinion, at least in the position of running back in the league at the moment. His name's Derek Henry, he's nicknamed the King. He came in at number 99 on the list last year. This year he's jumped 89 places. Now that is absolutely unheard of. He's gone from number 99 to number 10. He's clearly, he's clearly got that respect from his fellow players. He's got the respect from me. In fact, two days ago I did a special, a special video, a special reaction on this channel, reacting to him doing a stiff arm on a Lions player and it was extremely impressive and to be honest it seems like with his size his power he can pretty much do that at will you know what I mean if he gets you in the wrong position if you're going in too high or too low he can either just bound over you if you go too low just push to the side or if you do go too high he's probably gonna look for you know a point on your helmet or on your shoulder pads that he can just grab and literally just launch you launch you off stiff arm you to the ground and um, well we as fans absolutely love it. it gets me excited it gets you guys excited and it gives me something to react to so with all that being said I don't have any Titans gear I don't have a Henry jersey although if I did I'd wear it proudly but what I do have is an Eeyore onesie and a Jacksonville Jaguars Leonard Fournette top now now Leonard Fournette and the Jags I'm, I'm gonna always have to back them. The Jags are my favorite team, they always will be. They've gone one in 16 this year and they're most likely gonna get the first draft pick of the 2021 NFL Draft and that, that's exciting. But to be fair, we're not talking about Eeyore, we're not talking about the draft and we're certainly not talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're talking about the king with the tiger tail. 250 pounds, six foot three and a half. The closest thing to the greatest rugby player of all time Jonah Lomu, in my opinion anyway, is Derek Henry. And with that being said, he's playing running back. That is the position that I would love to see this guy play. There are many, many linebackers in this league, many, many defensive ends in this league that are of similar size and stature to Derek Henry, but they don't play the position of running back. So I don't like them as much. Anyway, let's go. It's about time. I said this one was gonna be different. It is different, but it's gonna be even more different because, uh, being that it is Christmas time, in fact it's Christmas Eve, it's Thursday the 24th of December, it's 10.44 a.m. and I'm feeling extremely festive and with that being said, I'm gonna pour a drink. Because we're in the top 10 guys and this has been a mammoth project, it's been a project that I didn't know whether it would be finished or not but uh, I tell you what, as soon as I moved into this place, as soon as I bought my new monitor, as soon as I set myself up, I knew that I was gonna do everything in my power to finish this series, and that's what we're gonna do. This is gonna taste absolutely delicious. And if I said I was gonna to go to the gym after having a couple of drinks, would you really be surprised? You shouldn't be. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's his own play. Okay, we've got Derek Henry reacting to his own play, which is always good. Nation blocking, also when I was mashing him down, gave me a cutback lane, and I was one on one with the DB. He threw it for my legs. Uh, See? That's exactly what's going to happen. You dive for the legs and he's going to get past you with ease. Yeah, I love it. I think it took 68. That was big back rolling, man. 68 yards to the house. Individual accolades is cool, but my main focus is us winning as a team. He does have some crazy eyes, I'm going to say. Look at that. Look at that. What, what I like is that. And look at that. Mark Ingram went through a similar thing. <laughs> it's Mark Daniels. Didn't really have the best showing his first couple years. And because that guy is not a guaranteed Hall of Famer in his two years, not everybody's ready to call him a bust. I remember talking to him his first few years. You know, sometimes you're frustrated in the role and the situation. I'm like, listen, bro, I've been through it. You're going to be good. And when your opportunity comes, take off with it. And he done did that 10,000 times that. Put your crown on. There you go, boy. Fuck yeah, bro. That is amazing. Here it was kind of like, yo. Put your crown on. That's King Henry for real. Ah! Oh, that is King Henry. He doing King things. Oh, this guy's King Henry for real. 
He doing king. He doing king things, and he is looking like a king. Look at that guy. I want to dress up like that. What the fuck am I wearing right now? Like seriously. That is the way to dress. That's nice. That's real nice. Thanks. Falls five yards. He's too good. He's too big. He falls five yards. That's crack up. You want five yards per attempt, right? But he literally, you take his legs out, he's going to fall at least two to three yards in front. So that's that's a guaranteed two or three yards. Interesting, interesting call by um, Edelman there. football camp my dad pointed to him was like you know you know who that is you know I'm like yeah he's in the NFL right and he was like nah you're your senior high school I'm like oh wow Derek Henry what's the first thing look at him <laughs> King Henry bruh all hail King Henry all hail I was mad when I'd say his name DN. <laughs> Defensive end. An alien DN. Defensive end. That's a track star playing running back. <laughs> I saw him in person. I'm like, this dude's bigger than me. <laughs> and he's carrying the ball. It's not like taking down a normal running back. That's a whole different game when you're playing now. He's like a full blown defensive end out there. Derek Henry to the house. When I saw his eyes with this. And he's the baddest man in NRG Stadium today. Yeah, you can extend that baddest man to a lot of other stadiums too. Dudes just don't want to tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bruh. Oh, mate, you don't know how fucking excited and happy I am to be watching this guy right now. To think that he's in the league and he's killing it and he's so young and we've got so many years to watch him play. Like, this is, this is how I feel when I watch Saquon Barkley play. You know, in his first few years in the league, and he's only going to get bigger and better and faster. And what you don't want to do is, is for oppositions to work him out too easily. But I feel like at his size, whatever teams do as far as, you know, scheming, as far as film work, trying to get ready for this guy, you just don't tackle guys like that in practice enough to get used to it. You know what I mean? It's almost like Jonah Lomu, like I said. I mean, I'm not trying to tackle that either. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a big dude. Like, you're not trying to hit him 30 times again. Fuck that. He get the stiffy and that, his, his arms are long and it, he come like, Paul, you know, he don't, it's elite. He's the best in the game. The stiff arms are the best in the game. Oh, that's stiff arms. That's incredible. First of all, the arms, Super long, you got little DBs and live ass coming at you. Yeah, you got little DBs, man. They can't do shit. Your arms way longer than yours. Get off me. You get full extension on you. How you gonna tackle? You can't even get your arms to them. Like someone messing with their little brother. Touchdown, Still got there. Great stiff arm. Yeah, he's definitely a monster. He is a monster. What he do against Jacksonville every single time he played out? <laughs> Fuck! Oh no, I'm wearing a Jacksonville top right now. Every single game. Yeah, they don't want to tackle him, do they? No. Oh, bro, the stiff arms of the man. They're going way too high. Why are you stiff arms about at 50 yards? But everybody else chasing you. That's embarrassing, bruv. That is embarrassing. But that's the kind of shit that Jonah Loma used to do. No, fam. <laughs> fam, you different. He was the best player in the NFL, besides Lamar. It, I think that it's tough. It's tough. I mean, I'm always doing a lot. But Derek Kimball was like, yo, you know what the guy's going to do. You know what's crack up? These guys have really finally relaxed when they're talking about Derrick Henry because people know, like, literally, he's just too good, too spectacular, too big. It's like, it, it is a joke. It's, it's almost like it's a joke. So these guys, instantly when they start talking about him, it's like, nah, I can't be serious anymore because this guy's just too good. Do you get that? No, he's going to run the ball. That's what we said, like, bro, just stop. He's got something to run. Bro, just, just... 
Bro. I know everybody thought the Ravens were gonna be the Titans. Everybody. He saw what he did. He ran through all 11 of those things. That's what he did. Over and over and over again. It definitely gives not only me but the team a burst of energy knowing that you got a running back with a defensive mindset. I feel like that's what he has. Did he switch from defensive end? Is that why they said that? So we've got Derrick Henry officially listed at six foot three, although I think he's a little bit taller than that, 247 pounds. Second round pick in the 2016 draft. Okay, we've got uh, Yuli High School. Yeah, three, stars, uh, three sports star in football, basketball, and track. He played as a running back for Yuli Hornets football team. So he played running back even at high school. He set the Florida high school record with a 510 yard performance against Jacksonville. Would you believe? And averaged 9.2 yards per carry and 327.8 yards per game as a senior. What? <laughs> he posted a personal best time in high school of 11.11 11, 11 .11 seconds in the 100 meter dash. He went to University of Alabama, played... Oh, we've got Leonard Fournette. Oh, shit. Here we go. Look at this. 2015 season. This is where shit like this gets really interesting. It goes full circle. You know what I mean? Listen to this. On October 17th against Texas A&M, he had 236 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, and an 18-yard reception. In the next game, a narrow 19-14 victory over Tennessee, he had 143 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. Now listen to this. In the following game, a much-anticipated matchup with fellow Heisman contender Leonard Fournette. He had 210 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns. And that's pretty much all i got to say about that. Um, I'm not sure how Leonard Fournette went in that game, but I can, I can safely say it probably wasn't that good. He ran a 454 40-yard dash, 37 inches on the vertical jump, 10 foot 10 on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench press. He's got a hand size of 8 and 3 quarters of an inch, which is pretty small for his size, I'm not gonna lie. And that's probably why he's playing running back and not receiver. Now has, he si now has he signed a second deal? He has. March 16th, 2020, the Titans placed the franchise tag on Henry. He signed the tag on April 2nd, 2020. He signed a new four year, $50 million contract with the team on July 15th, 2020. So 50 million over four years. And just before we continue, NFL running back salaries. Top NFL running back. Here we go. That's what we want. We've got David Johnson, Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, Kenyon Drake, Christian McCaffrey, Melvin Gordon, and then Derek Henry. I'm not exactly sure what those numbers mean, and I couldn't be sure if they're accurate, but anyway, let's continue. One play that I can pick out, particularly when he stepped on Earl Thomas. Derek Henry doesn't just have a stiff arm, he's got a throwing arm. Bro, he literally turned Earl Thomas inside out. T-Bone, T-Bone, what's that? Oh, that's a spiral and a half. Look at that, that's, that's sick. 37 inches in the vertical jump. Titans to the playoffs like that. So he's he, he's he's thrown he's thrown a touchdown pass. It's just something special. Yeah, all hail the fucking king, I'm telling you. We want more. We want more. Let's go. We want more. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All I can say is keep it up, mate. And what I can also say is that I'm gonna get this thing off. I'm gonna put my Patriots jersey on, and we're gonna watch the ninth best player in the NFL for 2020, Stefan Gilmore. Now, before I press play. I want to talk about, you know, his demeanor. I want to talk about what I think of this guy having just seen him on this list so far. Not even having a look at his play. Just listening to how he speaks. Because it's... Interesting, in a word. Anyways guys, there's no time to lose. We've got nine players to go. If you did enjoy this one, if you're a massive fan of Derrick Henry just like I am, please hit that like button. And if you do want to subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. And, um, well, if you just want to stick around for the next one, then hit next. Have a great night guys, thanks for tuning in from wherever you are tuning in from, and peace out.